How's it going, everybody? My name is Chad. With me is Leonard, and this is another edition of our Nitty Gritty Stupid Questions, which is a series of videos with short answers that we think of on the fly, no research, just whatever comes to the top of our head. So this week, we are going to have Leonard ask the question. Yes, and another thing we seem to be doing is we're giving each other a choice of number. So Chad, give me a number between one to five. All right, we'll do two. Two this time. So um okay uh, this is a good one i like this one space aliens come to earth and want to know about professional wrestling for whatever reason it doesn't matter so what one single match would you show them to explain professional wrestling oddly enough the first match that comes to mind which is probably, if I had to think about it for a couple minutes, it wouldn't be. But the first match that came to mind when you said this question was Bret Hart versus Steve Austin at uh, WrestleMania 13. Okay. Um, uh, you know, that was a great bit of storytelling in the ring, a great bit of storytelling outside of the ring. The match was dramatic and just one of the best ever. Um, so that one comes to mind right away. Um, in terms of everything that wrestling has to offer, it's one of my favorite matches of all time. And I say this to everybody because it has everything that you'd want to see. And that would be Savage versus Warrior at WrestleMania 7. Um, if you incorporate the match, the story, what happens afterwards, that is professional wrestling, in my opinion. Like, like from start to finish, that's what you look for. You look for a great contest in the ring. You look for a great storyline, a happy resolution. Don't look much farther than that one. Um, so, yeah, those are the two that come to mind. I could probably list a, a, a bunch of them, Leonard. Do you have one that came to mind for you? One, one that came to mind for me, and you might find this unusual, but I think it fits all the criteria you just laid out. Um, Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 24. Yeah, that's a good one. Great storyline. I think that's a nice mix of, of talent. You had Flair from basically two generations before Sean was sort of the generation before plus of the current, um, you know, guys who were very schooled in the old style of wrestling, but also the new style of wrestling. It's matched not too old, but not too new. Uh, again, great storyline coming into it. Great story told within the match. Um, epic ending. Everything that, that, that you said uh, fits with that one. Yeah, and you know, another one I just thought of would probably be Savage and Hogan at WrestleMania 5. Uh, again, like that's like a long story buildup. Mm -hmm. And it's something that would be easily to understand for aliens. You know, one match that I think everybody looks at as five stars, but I don't know that I would it would be on my list of matches to show aliens to explain wrestling would be the TLC matches. Um, yeah. Because I feel like if you were showing this to somebody who's never heard of wrestling, they would look at it and they'd be like, what's going on? These guys are just crashing into each other. Why are they doing this? Like, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's not, it's not, I think, especially if it's like the first thing that you're showing, yeah. like it, it's sort of the question of if, if someone isn't a wrestling fan, like we talked about the fact that our wives don't watch wrestling, but they will occasionally see stuff via us watching it. So it's sort of, of a different spin on that type of question because I'm, you know, it's more about someone who has no concept of, of, of what it is. Right. More or less. Uh, another one that, since you mentioned Savage a couple times, Savage versus Steamboat at WrestleMania three, great match, great storyline going into that. Yeah. Uh, maybe just show them the career of Randy Savage. <laughs> yeah, it's funny his name keeps coming up in these stupid question. Uh, yes, yes. He well, he I, a favorite of both of ours. Yeah. You know, great long career. Yeah, tons of really really good matches. Here's let me ask you this: How what what's your feelings on Hogan versus Andre from WrestleMania three? Well, I like, I mean, that's a classic storyline as well. That's like, I don't want to say David versus Goliath, but, uh, you know, it, it's a large David Goliath versus Goliath 1A. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's akin to that, though. It's, you know, this contest where you have somebody that's never been defeated. That was the storyline going in against the, you know, the crowd favorite, the champion, you know, and you see that in action movies. You see that in, you know, real life wars you know like the underdog versus the you know undefeated uh you know unstoppable force 
uh, what you know, Gorilla Monsoon, the uh, irresistible force versus the immovable object type thing. Yeah. And I think that that's a classic story to tell. So I think that that would be a good one. I don't know that, like, if they were to watch that, that would be their first match. Like, it's not the most technically sound match, right? But it is one that you can see that the crowd loves wrestling and is very into it. So I think it fits. It might not be my first choice. Mm -hmm. I would say anything with Doink the Clown. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, you know, especially versus Crush at WrestleMania 9 mm -hmm. you know, with the, you know, the prosthetic arm, I think. Or no, that was, that happened in the leading up to. Yes, yes. <laughs> in, in, uh, uh, was, was Doink and Crush at WrestleMania 9? I thought it was Doink and, I thought that, no, I thought it was Crush and Repo Man. I'm pretty sure, because didn't uh, Doink hit Crush with the prosthetic arm and that, apparently put him out for like weeks maybe that's it but i know crush and repo man had a match at some point so basically anything with with crush i think would, would also be good for me so just have them view the career of crush going from a hawaiian surfer to you know an an evil martial artist to yeah. a biker yeah. and then oh well you forgot he was a third member of demolition that's, yeah, third member of demolition. Third member of demolition. Then he was the 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 Hawaiian. Then he was uh, the fake martial artist. I think artist. they'd be just confused. Be like, and, then he, and then he and then he and then he then uh, he hung out with Adam Baum and smoked a lot of weed. Yeah, like who is this? Is this your uh, you know top wrestler? He can do so much. Yeah. You know, you know, no, no, no. You know, who you show the alien say this is the greatest wrestler of all time. Kiss Demon. Kiss Demon. Yeah. Kiss Demon, because that would I think fry their minds. Brooklyn Brawler. He's everywhere. Um, all right. Well, let us know who you think or what matches you think. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we kind of went off on a tangent. Yeah, we did, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what you think of our choices, if you agree or disagree. For Leonard, my name is Chad, and we will see you next time.